to avoid to make some errors, I have a, a speech, but this is a short one. You will not sleep. Diverse entities, ladies and gentlemen, the world is advancing fast. Before exploring the space, the humanity will explore the deep ocean. Blue economy is already a reality, but is, it is also a political buzzword. We can organize blue economy in broad, in four big groups of activities. Extractive, like fishing, mining, oil and gas. Generative, energy and food production. Transport, raw materials, products, people and data. Others like tourism, scientific, search and risk, environment protection. Use of the sea for economical purposes will always go end in end with the military activity. Sorry, because I am a military to say that. In the near future, sooner than we might expect, humanity will establish floating cities offshore. The last frontier to be colonized before space along with a completely new kind of living. Divers are and will be essential. They play a distinctive and crucial role in the blue economy, mainly in installation and maintenance of marine infrastructures, salvage, all kinds of sea and coastal activities, search and rescue, environment protection, tourism, and many others. But diving is changing with the advent of robotic explosion of underwater vehicles and apparatus. A real revolution taking place as we speak. These robots will revolutionize how divers operate, broadening the deep, speed and capabilities of present operations. In a few years' time, divers and robots with artificial intelligence will operate in teams, closely cooperating enlarging efficacy and efficiency. Being a military, I can see also how our operations have been changing and have had to adapt to these new realities and technologies. Our typical tasks as a military divers are still the same, but they are being challenged by the pr present technological revolution. Explosive ordnance and disposal, advanced ops and beach clearing, mine warfare and cleaning, salvage and SAR. We, the Portuguese Navy, are one of the front runners in testing and experimentation of new ideas and concepts, getting the best from both carbon beans, which are us, and silicium divers, which are the robots with artificial intelligence in the future. We have been developing an annual exercise, RAPMAS, of uh, mar mar marine robotics, taken in September each year, now in its 13th edition. It has become the largest and most challenge of the kind in the world. Please, you can address yourselves for the next exercise, will be in the September 24. I wish the best for the third edition of Living Talks. The future waits for us at sea. Thank you. Hey, good morning, Admiral. Uh, you've had a wonderful career protecting the waters, these beautiful waters of Portugal. How do you see us civilians also aiding in protecting these beautiful waters of Portugal and throughout the world? I think the the first way to do it is to be an actor in that waters uh, and um, having the idea that these waters belongs to everybody so we have to protect all these waters and everybody have something to do with the waters an example we uh, because we are people that live in in land we sometimes don't realize how the climate change are dependent on waters, how the food chain is impacted by the waters, how our life is impacted by uh, the water environment, the oceans and the currents. 
and uh, we have been uh, careless about the, the sea. We have been polluting the sea for many, many years. And uh, as after the Industrial Revolution, we are polluting in a fast speed the sea. And uh, that will have an impact in all living beings ashore. We think, no, it's only for the marines or something, no. The, there is a big impact. We already see that. Um, so we have to take care of this uh, ambient. And uh, answering your question is the societies, uh, the democratic at least, are very dependent on the ideas that uh, came on the society and uh, on the media. So uh, the civilian society can always drive the tension of the media for uh, certain subjects that became then political. And becoming political, then there is actions because uh, the politicians normally act because of the social life or the, the society wants something. So you have to do this pressure. Uh, sometimes this pressure is bigger than the pressure we can do inside the system. Because we, we meet with our masters, the politicians, and they say this is something wrong there, we, you have to solve this thing. But uh, until there is a, a huge crowd uh, thinking like that and have an opinion about that, this thing doesn't move. So this is the way have a, a, a strong opinion and act in the civilian society with. Thanks. Um, what do you think the submarines of the future will look like? So, uh, okay. The submarines of the future. Today, submarines, bigger submarines have more or less 150 inside. Smaller submarines, smaller, which means 2,000 ton submarines about sorry I will speak better like that uh, smaller submarines have about uh, 30 guys what what is happening for the future is this uh, all these military apparatus will become more intelligent so the people will be reduced if the people could be reduced, the size will also be reduced. So uh, there will be a big change uh, which the robotics and the artificial intelligence is bringing. Hello, Admiral. Uh, question. We are so obsessed about colonizing uh, Moon and Mars and nobody's living at the bottom of the sea and it's like uh, around the corner so many big militaries have all kind of projects but they abandoned all of the underwater ones a long time ago like what's a short version of, of that story the, pro the problem uh, with uh, colonizing the sea underwater as divers you know all the problems about it is, is a very harsh environment and uh, you have to live in a, or in a capsule which holds the pressure for you or you live under pressure which all the physical things that living under pressure uh, makes to the human beings so it's not a natural ambient for, uh, for uh, the mankind anyway I really believe that in less than 50 years we will have uh, cities at sea and 
floating cities, not cities anchored or uh, putting in a, s a small atoll that then they, they make a city. No, floating cities. If you consider that the biggest wave is 40 meters high, you, if you have a platform of three kil kilometers wide, on the end, 40 meters doesn't make any sense. It's 0, 0.0 something degree of uh, movement. And the sea is a very stable ambient, uh, comparing to land. Uh, if you have an earthquake in land, it's a huge problem. At sea, uh, on open sea, is a little wave of 30 centimeters. So I really believe that we will colonize the surface of the sea. And colonizing the surface of the sea, you will also have some kind of activity under the platform. And uh, then divers will be essential to, to do this kind of works. Because even robots, the robots are very good, but they don't have hands like us. They cannot make crazy movements. And another thing which is important in robotics versus human beings is a robot to think like a human being, the power, the, uh, uh, the electrical power, you have to feed to the computer. And uh, the capabilities of that computer are so vast that cannot compete with a 20 watt brain which we are we use 20 watts only so we are fantastic so uh, i don't believe uh, that uh, we will cooperate but there is no substitution for human being but the big problem in my opinion is the military also is imagine that a country with capabilities a big capabilities thinks there is a good idea to make a floating city in front of Lisbon to make some kind of business and will drive out the business from Lisbon to this floating city. Imagine what these kind of things will do in future. And that is not a far reality. It is possible that in the technology Technological speaking, that is already possible. We are not still there, but it's possible. So if it is possible, and the human beings, we all together are 7 billion guys, we have to expand ourselves. There is only one place to expand, is the ocean, because two thirds of the ocean are sea. So. When you see the trends of development, you'll really, there is no way to stop that. Unless we will not, uh, we will change completely our, can take 20 years, 50 years, or 100 years, but that thing will happen. And when happen, when it will happen, it will change completely the world. The geoeconomics, the geopolitics, the geostrategic, uh, so, but divers will have a lot of work. So, it, it for the diving community is always a good, <laughs> a good sign. We we have more and more activity at sea, in a permanent basis, until we'll live at sea.